Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swain Bird and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I got my 90s funktastic hip hop get up here <laughs> going on. Uh, today is going to be a very busy day and a very exciting one because there's actually a lot going on. Uh, we've got a few new villagers, not just one, and I'll show you guys them in a second here. But uh, first I want to head over to retail real quick and let the suspense build because i got to pick up a project. So basically, uh, I knew that we were, were going to need to fill Mira's spot in the village. So I, uh, I contacted an old friend and told him uh, if he was going to come visit the village to vacation, maybe he could do a little uh, snooping for me and try to find the best villager to move in. So uh, he decided to visit the campgrounds when he came in and... He had to take the train a lot of times, and as you can see from this little collage here, he uh, ended up meeting about 70 unique villagers. And uh, it took a long while, but we are going to go head down and I'll show you the villager that I finally convinced to join uh, the vill to move into Goostin, basically. Uh, if I can find this bird wing, I just saw a bird wing go by. I can't waste that opportunity, those things are so valuable. Where did it go? Man, I lost it. Huh. Uh, anyways, though, I guess I'll keep an eye out for it, but I don't see it anywhere. So, as you can see here, living right next to Elvis is my buddy. He's going to be vacationing here, and he's going to have a little vacation home, so hopefully we'll see more of him in the future. But below him, in the normal campground here, in a normal tent... Oh, there's a bird wing. It's probably going to go away now that I, I went in here. But you guys can meet the newest addition to Goostin, Drago! <laughs> He is a alligator, technically, but he's basically a dragon. He's got a cool dragon shirt. He's got some of the characteristics of, like, an Asian dragon. There, let's talk to him. The air in this town smells delicious. If only I could bottle it and bring it back home with me. So I actually already convinced him to join. So I, I didn't want to mess with that, you know, have to have to deal with the stress and risk of losing him. So I convinced him to join. We played a few games, and he said, sure, I'll come move into to Goostin. So he should be here within the next few days. I'm very excited. He's a, he's a lazy villager, just like Cranston. So him, him and Cranston will probably hang out and uh, slack off and eat all the fruit, but uh, he seems like he's going to be a good addition. And in addition to that, I have some other maybe unfortunate news for some of you guys. Nan actually approached me shortly after I convinced Drago to join, and she said, hey, I'm going to leave. And I, I decided to be like, well, if you really think you want to, go ahead. And uh, I told her that she can leave if she wants, it, fully expecting her to be like, hey, I don't want to leave, I'm going to try to be better friends. Like, a lot of them will, tr will trick you out with that, they'll just fake you out. But in the end, she said, all right, I'm going to leave. So Nan is actually going to be leaving on the 10th. We'll, there she is. Oh, let's talk to her one more time. Well, probably a few more times. It's great that we had so many chances to chat, buddy. So what can I do for you? Oh, she's so, it's so sad. <laughs> I'm more relaxed wearing an outfit that looks basic than something flashy. That's why I'm wearing my sunset tee today, buddy. So Nan will be out of here in about five days. So I'm sorry to anyone who likes Nan. She's actually the villager that I feel the least attached to. She's cool, but... Oh, what's up, Pinky? But yeah, we're going to get somebody else in. So <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, maybe have, have another friend go through that whole process of finding the best villager in the campsite. Hey, listen, I came up with a major breakthrough about how we can make life in Goose City even better. What would you think of adding an illuminated tree here? I know it would make me happy, Smoopy. I'll tell Isabel about it so you two can make planes. Planes, not planes. That'd be cool to make an airport. Uh, not that you would really need it, we have a train station. But So an illuminated tree, I'll have to see what that looks like. I don't know if I've ever even seen that in somebody else's town. So I want to head over here, and there should be somebody special. This is the other big thing today. Uh, I, I don't think I failed to mention that I picked up my tiny sore. It's a Spinosaurus. We're going to add that to the museum. But this is other big news. Gracie is here, so let's meet her. Hello, Gracie. Hello there. Are you a native of this little town? Yes, I am. I'm the mayor. <laughs> of course you are. And you have perfect timing to boot. I happen to be the creative force behind a certain un ultra fa <laughs> I said unfashionable. Ultra fashionable fashion brand. Your precious town is begging me to open a shop here, so I wanted to see the place with my own eyes. I'll only bring my brand here if the citizens are sufficiently style savvy. Are you interested in fashion, darling? What does it look like? I'm like a member of the Beastie Boys over here with my outfit. 
Of course you are. And with that in mind, you could surely use one of my patented fashion evaluations. I hope you're up to the task. Okay, here's how it works. I give you a super stylish theme, and you get until the end of the day to get yourself styled up in an outfit to match that theme. Of course, I expect to see you coordinate shoes and accessories to go along with the getup. Now, what should your theme be? Mod make with modern times. Shouldn't be too hard for a true stylista like yourself. Just create an outfit based on the theme. Don't forget your deadline. End of the day. I'll be gone tomorrow, you see. Ciao, darling. So this is Grace Gracie, and I believe if I pass four of her fashion checks, she's going to move to town. Oh, before I go, I forgot to show you guys this. This is the uh, the standee, of course, but oops, don't want to do that and clip my net through. But this is the, uh, the Totoro design that I found, so I put that on there. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm trying to plant bushes next to it, but I have a feeling they're going to die because they're too close to it. But it would look cool with bushes on either side. So if if I can get Gra Gracie, I'm going to say Grassy. Degrassi to uh, to have me pass four fashion checks, I believe. Then they sh then uh, she'll move into town and actually uh, have a little spot in the final version of the Timmy and Tommy's Mart. So it's very important to pass her fashion checks. So we're gonna have to do a little dig into my closet. Luckily, I've saved so much, cl so many clothing things. And if I can find a modern outfit, that would be really cool. So I'm gonna cut here, and I'll be back when I have my modern outfit on. Unfortunately, I have no modern clothing, so uh, <laughs> there's a very short list of modern clothes, and I didn't have any of them. A lot of them were very, like, oval shades and that type of stuff, like, really trendy, stylish. A few of them were Gracie items, too. It's like, I don't have any of those either. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> Look at Mr. Cool Guy Cafe Worker. So I'm going to fail that first fashion check, at least, and it's too late to, like, order any clothes, you know, in time, so, oh well. Let's uh let's just get to coffee making. Pretty sure Avery likes Kilimanjaro, if I remember correctly. Yes, he does. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of cool villagers uh that I uh, that I heard uh my buddy encountered on that on the his trips through the campgrounds. Uh, well, there was like a, a hippo guy. His name was like Hippo. He was a fancy like he had hair on his head it was kind of weird but he was so tempting there were a bunch of others that were really cool there was kid cat which is like a daredevil cat that was like really cool i already have a cat though it's like most of them are ones i already have a thing of whoa speak of cool there's a flamingo one cup of coffee please make it a mocha by the way i like my coffee with a regular mind on. can you handle that pinky i think i can all right so her, what uh, she's wearing, she said mocha. What she's wearing is kind of a good example of a a, uh, mo or a modern type shirt. It was a lot of like polka dotty stuff. So yeah, I didn't have like any of that. The only like I only keep shirts that I really like that are kind of cool. So I think I have a lot of like historical or sporty stuff, like ones that go with other like accessories and things. It only takes some. Um, one of the items, or two, like, you can get some of the fashion checks with only having, like, one or two of the items, as long as you don't conflict with, like, another style. So I could have gotten it if I had, like, one. Whoa, who's this rhino? I saw a few rhinos, too, that were pretty cool. Rhonda, there was one, I th it wasn't, what the heck was her name? Renee, there was a rhino named Renee that was, like, she was an Uchi type, and I just completely missed what she said. She wanted to blend? I don't know. <laughs> I was too focused on thinking of the other rhino, but um, but yeah, she uh, the Renee was another big sister type like Mira, so I was so tempted to do that because I'm like I want to get all the unique personality types. So basically, we I think we have two cranky villagers and two lazy now. So, and if Nan leaves, it would be nice to have a uh, big sister or a normal type. Coffee wasn't what I asked. Normally, if you'd think they would be like, can I m make you another one? But they just kind of leave without us even offering it. <gasps> Rossetti! What the heck? I don't think I've had him in here before. I don't have my pen. I gotta write this down. Give me the regular. I don't know what your regular is, Rossetti. And I'm pretty sure I haven't encountered him at all. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe he likes mocha? I don't know. He, looks, he reminds me of a, a nice mocha color. And I'll give him lots of sugar and lots of milk because... He's up late at night. Let's see if he... I should have actually tried several different things. Oops. Oh, well. Let's try and see what Rossetti likes. Here you go, buddy. Hey, he doesn't really come out of the Reset Center that often, so I'm surprised. Let's see. I'm just going to smell it. Moldy mud bath. <laughs> What's this garbage? You're trying to kill me. Say coffee. Angry mole. Go, go, go. 
Ha! Just messing with you. I'm not mad. Not mad at all. Oh well, there's no resentment coffee, right? Shape up, kid. See ya. He didn't even give me any hints about what I got wrong. <laughs> Thanks for steady, you little butthole. I didn't do too good today, it seems like. Alright, let's see what I got. And then we're gonna head over and get one of the final jokes from Shrunk, because we've only got a few left here. And good coffee beans. Alright, I did alright. I think I got two of them perfect and two of them bad, so. 50-50. Not bad. Wearing my hip-hop outfit, I just, I can't, you know, follow society's rules, man. I gotta be a rebel, and I gotta break dance. If only I had cardboard out here, I could... That should be a, <laughs> maybe for the next uh, Animal Crossing, maybe the Wii U version, you could have a public work works project that's just a cardboard box that you lay down on the ground, and then anyone that comes up can like break dance on it and spin around, that would be pretty funny. And there's like a little boom box, <laughs> that could be on Main Street. Genji, what are you wearing, man? Hey, hey, Tiny A, fancy meeting you here, bud. Tiny A, what can I help you with? What's the latest, buddy? Why are you wearing that sh shirt that looks like a warning road sign. Hmm, I feel like I've been down this way already. Oops, where was the shop I wanted to go to? There's only so many. I don't know, maybe he's getting senile or something with all the, the crazy clothes he's wearing. Let me grab one of my pears. Oh, also I was gonna do this. I have a leftover from the, uh, from the festivities yesterday, so let's pop this out and give it a light. I think it's a Roman candle. Woo! Yeah. Last time I... <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I did the wrong spell when I was doing the the uh, the one because it looks like a magic wand kind of the way he holds it, and I did Wingardium Leviosa, but it should have been like Luminous or something. I don't know. I haven't <laughs> I haven't read all the Harry Potter books. All right, let's see. Give him a snack. All this stuff I usually cut out because it's just kind of like shrunk. You know what I'm you know what I'm here for. I always bring you a pear, man. I'm your pear dealer. So here we go. Pear man on the side. It doesn't get like bites out of it, it just kind of shrinks as he eats it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, let's do it. It's better than drawing another sprite that has bites out of it, I guess. Just make it shrink. Thank you, thank you. Dark Strong's in the house. My shocked joke is just a thing you hear what else you. So the other day, I was walking around in my neighborhood and I noticed a small boy. He was trying really hard to reach the doorbell of one of the houses. He just couldn't get it though. That's why I thought I'd be nice and present for him. You know, ding dong. <laughs> Found a little boy and I said ding dong. Then the kid suddenly ran off. Classic ding dong ditch. But I forgot to run! <laughs> Shrunk, you're complicit in his crime. Alright, so let's check this joke out. But yeah, my goal was to try to get Pietro to join the village, but I think Drago is going to be a nice addition. There are a couple others that I was hoping for too. Oh man, we only got two, two things left. <gasps> oh my god. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But anyways, <laughs> oh well, only got two jokes left. And then he'll start repeating, so I'll cut that out of the day. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. There was lots of enough new stuff going on, and I'm excited to welcome the two new villagers, and of course, the third eventually when Nan leaves in a few days. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.